<laughs> Welcome back to my garage. Today we're starting on the actual uh, making of the brute force, the first brute force prototype. I've got some parts here, there's more on the way. I'll bring you in close and show you what I've got and uh, then we'll start machining. Realized I kind of forgot the key point in that intro. I'm building a 50cc blown nitro roll pre valve exhaust externally scavenged two stroke. A prototype. That's what's happening. Go back a few videos and watch from there and you'll understand better what's going on here. Here's what I've got so far, but first to bring everybody up to speed, here's the CAD model of uh, what I'm building. Here's the model that made it into the prototyping stage. There's a couple of changes since uh, last time. Rotary valve on the exhaust. Two reed valves opposing each other straight into the transfers. What you can see here is the blower which is connected down here. Crankcase is now being used as a plenum. That's for ease of uh, oiling. I won't need a separate oiling system for the crank crankshaft. Helps the piston on the way up and it fights it on the way down, just like the atmosphere would do in there, or whatever normal pressure would do in there. Reed valves will be connected to the case from the sides here. The blower is connected here, in the middle, under the crank. I've started working on a model in uh, Engmod and uh, Niels is uh, doing some trickery to make this, uh, this work, this uh, strange engine work in Engmod. With the help of simulations in, uh, in Engmod 2T software, I will find a suitable uh, plenum volume or crankcase volume. I've gone from four transfers and four exhaust ports down to two because there's not really any need for more. Directional control is not my main concern here. I just want it to collide and flow upwards in the rear part of the cylinder. And that exhaust port, there's, uh, I think they're around 60% of bore width. So nothing scary here. Should be just fine for a normal piston ring. There's been quite a few design iterations and I've had some weird ideas. I'll quickly show them to you. I'll make the models available to my patrons. If you want to have a look and support me, please join my Patreon. It's much appreciated. Here's a cross-section view of the, of the first uh, idea and how it all started. And actually there was a stage before this where I didn't even separate the, the transfer, like this transfer volume from the exhaust volume. But I think that would have just caused the mixture to flow straight past the cylinder and not fill it at all. There's too much bias towards the exhaust port and I don't think it would scavenge very well. Well, well, very well. <laughs> video. Here's a more refined version of that first one. Basically the same concept. Upwards direction on the transfers or intake and the downwards direction on the exhaust port. So this might work, might actually be worth trying this. It's uh, simpler than the double reed valves. This one there's a whole video about, go watch that video and, um, and it'll explain the concept much better than this video does. Here the opposing reed valves are emerging. This model, I, uh, I abandoned this model because it got too complicated and uh, too much projections and uh, and stuff and uh, it just freezes. Every time I try to edit a sketch or anything it just freezes so had to start all over. Here's the same concept as the prototype with the crankcase as uh, doubling as a plenum and reed valves between the case and the transfers. Started this model because I thought it would be better to have the connection between the reeds and the case like internal to the case and not with external tubes but it's it's a really big piece to machine and uh, for a quick prototype I think it's better to have have the pieces external to the to the actual actual case and cylinder. I think this arrangement of the reed valves is better though. Pointed upwards. But we'll see. This one is actually before that last one you saw. And you can see how the the crankcase plenum will be connected. Machined parts here. I will probably just start with uh, with tubing, because uh, simpler. But this is how it will be, and uh, the blower intake is on the underside there. I played around with some drum valve ideas. The problem with this design is that you can't build compression when there's no piston wall 
from from transfer open to basically top dead center these valves would need to be in the head geneva wheel mechanism you can't use that for high rpm even though it would be perfect but you can't just you just can't make that work looks cool though here's the same thing but the drum valves are also doubling as exhaust outlets exhaust pipes now this won't work either cause because the piston won't seal from here to here, so useless. But if you move them into the head, use just one big one, and you make that actually seal, which I think will be problematic. This could be really perfect. Maybe next prototype. 32 millimeter carb might not be this one, or might be a bigger one, smaller one, but carb, the ASIN AMR 300, blower that's a 300 cc per revolution uh, roots blower a dump valve a wastegate that wastegate will act as a dump valve the dump valve might actually not be used or i might use both a crank two reed valves thank you speed options for the refund on the reeds and the upgrade on the crank Thank you, means a lot. I got some bearings too, piston, and uh, here's the, the exhaust rotary valve. It will not be this one, I will machine a new one and a new valve, bigger, but uh, as a, as a stand-in. Sleeves are on their way, first step now is to start machining that cylinder, that two-piece cylinder. turned out close to perfect there was a slight mismatch between the water jackets after i flipped it and it was a human error because i used uh, a filler gauge to to indicate it in and uh, i forgot to put the width or account for the width of that uh, indicator but uh, that filler gauge but it doesn't matter it's just a cosmetic thing my machine is not very rigid and not very fast so this took the whole day and of course I sat there babysitting it all the time because I'm always I'm always expecting it to do something it shouldn't. Ideally I would have had both pieces done for this video. It's been a while and I thought it uh, was about time I put out a new video. So, video. <laughs> but next time 
will machine the, the top part and uh, hopefully the sleeves are here and we can put it together. I've ordered the ignition system, Ignitech. If anyone has a laser cutter or something and can cut some suitable exhaust rotary valve material, steel, for me, this is 0.3 millimeters, so around 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters thick. Let me know in the comments. I need a, a one, I think it's 110 millimeter disc and uh, with some with some shape to it in the middle, maybe square or or um, or six six hexagonal hexagonal for the driver. Please let me know if you have the material and the means to cutting it. It's hard making machining content, especially with the flood coolant and the, the foggy doors. <laughs> so I haven't bothered filming much much of the machining and the. It's, there's a lot of great channels with machining where you can get a better view. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get this prototype done as fast as possible. So it's not going to be another three year before startup project. The PIP cylinder is being welded and plated as we speak though. So it won't be long until that engine is running. Actually running. See you next time.